good. Marquise, uh, just from the guy that's kind of been here before, well, what do you think pleased you the most about your guys' performance tonight? Uh, I think that, you know, we had a really good energy to start the day off, to start shoot around. Um, and that transferred over to, you know, the, on the court. And, you know, we have a great group of guys who want to win bad. Um, and we have a great coaching staff who wants to win as, just as bad. So I think that, that energy trans, transferred over to the game. And Naquan, what did you think about your first time kind of playing in Bramlage Coliseum? Uh, first time, it was uh, crazy. Definitely uh, something I was uh, very like expecting that it was going to be crazy, especially for an exhibition game. Uh, I just, you know, just putting in the work, and it was just good. Uh, for the two guards up there, you guys had 19 turnovers tonight. Coach talked a little bit yesterday about that being something you guys want to clean up. What's the process of cleaning that up as you guys get into actual game action? Just being more disciplined, making more smart plays, easy plays, rather than, you know, trying to create for ourselves. That's for sure. Uh, I feel like we got to make the game more simple. We have a lot of lot of guys who could do different things with the basketball. So if we just be more simple than, you know, everybody, uh, Coach always says simple is harder and simple is much more difficult to do. So if we can, you know, be, you know, as simple as possible, then we'll limit those turnovers. And you guys shot it pretty well from inside the arc. What kind of went into you guys being able to shoot it so well um, in transition? Obviously, you guys had a lot of success, but also in the half court. Uh, definitely. We, we got a lot of offensive rebounds, I, be, I believe. Um, and that gave us, you know, second chance uh, opportunities. I don't know what the how many points we got off of that, but that gave us a great, you know, momentum to, you know, shoot a greater percentage. For Cam and Naquan, can you both talk me talk to me just about what it was like to play your first game in a Kansas State uniform, what you like most about it? It felt good. I mean, it started from warm-ups. I had the chills a little bit. Like, I was, you know how you get a drill and get the running and stuff like that? Well, I, I felt real bouncy in warm up so I mean, <laughs> it felt good. Uh, same. Uh, just from warming up and just coming in early, I felt like the energy was going to be crazy. So it was just something that I was like waiting for. Marquise, you in particular looked very excited when uh, Gerald Colbert had that big block. Yes. What does he do that in practice? And what is what is it like to shoot over him? Yes, he does uh, do that in practice. I mean, he's been work, working tremendously hard and. He's been putting in the work, um, and you know the work showed today, uh, and all the guys were happy for Jarrell today. So, yeah. And Marquise, I wanted to ask you about the atmosphere, the student section. Um, what was that like, considering you've been here last year for an exhibition to see the students come out like that? It's pretty crazy to think about it because you know last year it, was, it probably wasn't as many fans as it were uh, today, but. It was it was it was fun. I mean, I'm really happy for these guys to experience it, you know, for a chance. And you know, I'm glad that we pulled off a win. I'm glad that you know Coach Tang got his first win, not officially, but it's still a win. A win is a win. So. Yeah. And then Cam, for you, I mean, you played some pretty big time basketball um, in the SEC too. Mm -hmm. What are you most looking forward about? Not just playing at K State, but playing in the Big 12 in general. Uh, just winning. I mean, we we are, around a, we are around a group of guys that want to win, and we're going to win. So that's what I'm looking forward to, too. And then for you, Naquan, um, started to kind of get into a rhythm, get into the basket, also tried to shoot from outside. Um, do you feel more comfortable shooting from outside, or are you more of a put the ball on the floor and try and get to the right kind of guy? Uh, I most definitely feel comfortable shooting outside uh, of the floor. Uh, shots just didn't go in today, but that's OK. Uh, put in enough work that you can adjust and if the shot's not falling, start getting to the basket. And I feel like that's what I did. And my team, you know, they put me in positions that way I can, you know, get cuts and stuff like that to uh, score, so. Marquise, I talked to you the, the day Jerome Tang was hired, when he was introduced to the mm -hmm. press conference. Mm -hmm. And you told me you were really excited just by his energy and, and who he was as a person. You feel like now that you've played you know, an exhibition game, you've been with him for a while, you've helped kind of construct this team. Do you feel like you're starting to kind of exude Coach Tang's energy on the court and, and through the locker room? I mean, Coach Tang is an everyday guy. So the the, the very first day he got hired, um, he's been like that ever since. I mean, just, 
I think today he, he, he was more reserved and he had a lot of energy. But, you know, Coach Tang is a really good guy, really good coach. Uh, he wants to win so bad. And, you know, the guys just want to want to do it for him and uh, especially ourselves. What would you say is the most different about you today versus the day that he was hired? What's changed the most for you? More players. I mean, that day <laughs> that day he had a uh, – I mean, just, you know, it – it's it just been different. I mean, we've been preparing for this f since the summertime, you know. I mean, it was a long journey for, you know, the coaching staff and myself. Uh, but now that we got 15 whole guys, um, it's been a pleasure ever since the day he got hired. So, Cam, you guys had some, some pretty major defensive spurts there in the first half. You would go, go out to a 7 nothing run. I think it was like you scored 10 of the first 12 points of the game mm -hmm. as a team. What – what about playing defense and playing tough defense excites you? Um, just making the other team turn the ball over and knowing after we get the ball from them that we can go down and have a chance to score. Just like that. Marquis says, one of the leaders of this team, how special was it to see all 15 guys get on the court? It's pretty special, man. I mean, we, we all come from different backgrounds, uh, different places, and for us to actually experience what Bramlage is like and see the fans come out and see, you know, the, the coaching staff coming together to, to, to create a good game plan for us to win. It's just pretty it's just pretty special. Um, you know, we we have our first official game November seventh. So, you know, after today we can celebrate, but then we on to the next one. And Dorian Finister was on the court quite a bit today. How do you feel like he played? I feel like he played well. I mean, coming out of high school your first college game. I feel like he played well. He got on the glass. He got some good looks. So I think he played really, really well. Kim, describe your game in general for people, not tonight, just your general game, how you play. Um, I was, I've been working on my shooting a whole lot, so uh, I improved my shooting. Um, I mean, I just like to play. I mean, I feel I can do everything. There's nothing that I can't do. I love to play defense. Uh, I mean, that's, that's really it. Naquan, is this team really going to uh, make its mark playing defense for the oh, most part? Uh, most definitely. Uh, that's what we emphasize every day in practice is defense. Like, especially during the beginning, like, we wasn't even doing anything offense. Everything was defense. That's where we started when, uh, when like, the whole team got together. Everything was defense. So I would say, yeah, most definitely. Come on, Dan. You don't got nothing for me today, Dan? <laughs> Come on. I know you got something. Desi Sills hasn't been around for very long, but he made a you know, pretty large impact on today's game. Marquis, just how crazy has it been for him to just kind of hit the ground running in a short amount of time? It's great to have Desi on our team, first and foremost. But it, he brings a different level of energy uh, once he steps on the floor. Um, his defensive tenacity is, is crazy. You know, he's also like another leader on the court, another coach. Um, and yeah, just having Desi on your team, you know that you could count on him each and every play, each and every day. So, Marquise, what are some adjectives you would use to describe this team? Adjective, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the adjective. Come on, Danny. <laughs> like descriptive words. Descriptive words. We could, we could, we could talk about the team. He trying to bring me back to school. I forgot. Um, this team is, you know, tough, gritty. Um, selfless um, and a bunch of winners, so that's how I would describe this team. You're going to play your first game up. on Monday. I was curious uh, what your message just would be to, to Kansas State fans, wanting them to come out on Monday. Um, my message would be, you know, bring the energy. Uh, we feed off of y you guys, um, and we're going to play, you know, extremely hard. And we're gonna fight and, and and compete, you know, to to the end of forty minutes. And bring the keys. Bring the keys, keys. and the shoes. Yes. <laughs> Anything else for these guys? How does Google play the game look just to scrimmage against your teammates? Uh, I mean it felt it felt really well to play against, you know, somebody else and well, I don't wanna be disrespectful and, and beat them. I mean it felt good. Definitely, especially like 
when we play against each other and we run our sets and like and we execute our sets against each other, then we know that we're gonna execute against other people because they don't know where we're running. So definitely yeah, it's gonna be good. And then I just was curious, you guys after the game went around and gave high fives to the fans that were still here. Is that a new tradition we can expect? And kind of how did that start? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, Coach Tang wanted, wanted to create something new um, within our culture. So uh, now after games, we'll start walking around um, the whole gym and giving fans high fives. So. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all.